Hello, everyone, and welcome to another special edition of Litter Media Live. I'm your host, Mike Smith, and Wayne Linthicum is with us today from Uptown Classic 3-on-3 Basketball. He's also with the YMCA there in Pickaway County. We'll be talking about their upcoming Classic 3-on-3 tournament, which is July the 20th in downtown Circleville. Our interview today is brought to you by McDonald's. I'm loving it. I was looking for a first job. Um, I had been babysitting and decided it was something for a little more permanent. It pays very well. It's convenient. You can make your own schedule with the flexibility. That's something that I like. The people that I work with are great. I wouldn't ask for a better crew or management team to work for. Welcome back. Uh, Wayne Linthicum is with us, a longtime official. In our, we've seen you out and about over the years. A yeah. uh, time or two, I'm sure. <laughs> um, now, the, the uh, Uptown Classic, the three-on-three in Circleville, it's been around on and off for over a decade, but this is the fourth year running in succession without an interruption. Exactly. We started uh, four years ago uh, with Uptown Circleville being the the driver, if mm-hmm. you will, and uh, continued on to say this is our fourth year and looking forward to another great year. Now, as we said, the event is July the 20th, but registration is on now through yes. this weekend? Yes, registration will end this weekend. Uh, we had early registration until last weekend, the uh, 4th of July weekend, uh, with a little bit of a discount. That's already passed, but you can still register up to midnight Sunday night. Mm-hmm. this weekend coming up and uh, that way that'll ensure your spot uh, in the tournament is there a limit on the number of teams that can participate no there's not uh, we have a great group of 12 u 14 u boys and mm-hmm. girls uh, that seems to be the the class or the age group that uh, that draws in a lot for this uh, i i've said this over the last year's tournament we had the best bunch of the young adults we won't say older we'll just say the young adults <laughs> that I've ever had in any three-on-three tournament. Yeah. They did a great job. They were great sportsmen. Uh, just just great. We had a, a great tournament last year. Look forward to another one this year. Uh, what streets are, are involved as far as this uh, tournament? The city works with us very well. Uh, our thanks to the safety department there, Jim Stanley and his crew. Mm-hmm. Uh, it goes Court and Main north to just past the Elks, which is past Pinckney Street uh, and Watt Street. Mm-hmm to that alley and then we go east and west a little bit we have food trucks that'll be on the west side Mm -hmm. uh, off the courts and then a court uh, two small courts for the younger kids towards watch street towards the watch street tavern which is also a sponsor of ours obviously as you mentioned sponsors volunteers who are some of the sponsors oh my gosh uh my co-chair jennifer tomlinson her and ink my logo do a great job they take care of the t-shirts and she's been great with the volunteers setting up a spreadsheet contacting people uh the local bank savings bank kingston national bank those folks are always good Healthcare and logistics burger hospital just to name a few they they do a great job yeah um, what's been the, the number of teams approximately uh, in, in recent years that have participated? Last year we had 67. Mm. Uh, and it's, a, it's amazing how things go. You, go. you get a week or two out and you think, oh boy, we're down, we're yeah. down. And then that last push uh, kind of sends it over the, over the top. But right. we, we've historically, I think, been between 55 to 70, mm-hmm. uh, give or take a few here and there. But we had 67 last year, which was a good, a good year for us. Now, the age divisions, uh, you mentioned, I think, a little earlier, uh, the, the range, but is it like uh, 10 and 11-year-olds? How yeah. does that work? 10U, 12U, 14U, 16U, mm-hmm. and then 19 and older. Okay. And you and I would be 19 and older. We're, we're in that season <laughs> crowd, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> season citizens, as the late Rush Limbaugh used to call it. That's uh, right. That's what right. are some of the older players that you've had? We had a group two years ago that uh, they would be close to you and I. Really? Yeah. Uh, But they have fun. Yeah. They have fun. Probably the the oldest that we had last year in that older 19 and up group. Um, Mid-30s. Yeah. Mid-30s. They can still play. In uh, in recent years uh, during that event, did, have you had a lot of spectators? Oh, gosh. Uh, that's the big mm. big driver for Uptown is to have mm. that that downtown area visited by as many people as possible. Uh, it's good for the local restaurants. We had a couple that will do uh, specials for that day. Uh, I mean, let's face it, you get those 10U, 12, 14U, <laughs> they've got moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, yeah. cousins, everybody comes to watch a ball game. Yeah. Any... Um, 
info type things that people need to know about, you know, bringing your lawn, you, your own lawn chair. You're not going to have bleachers probably no. out there. For uh, we do set up a little bit of a bleachers at the very end on the north end of it. We've done that uh, the last couple years. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, bring a lawn chair. Um, some of the restaurants, like I say, will have water available or have things available right. for you. Doesn't You can bring a cooler, you know, no, not non-alcoholic, yeah. please. Uh, but you can bring your water and lawn chair, sunscreen. Mm-hmm. That'll come in handy. And, uh, and just have fun. Enjoy the downtown. What's the recommendation uh, for people that are parking or wanting to park uh, in, in the downtown? Any specific direction there? There's really not a specific direction, Mike. There are plenty. I, 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 I'm a miss for not knowing the mm. exact number, but there's hundreds of parking spots okay. available in downtown Circleville. It's just a matter of you may have to walk a little bit further. Yeah. But there's a lot behind the uh, municipal building, mm-hmm. uh, around the area, some of the uh, parking lots behind the banks. The banks will be closing, of course, at noon on Saturday. So you can slide in there and uh, and get a spot. Uh, for anybody that's been at the Pumpkin Show, you you know that this is not their first rodeo. They know how to handle this. Kind that's of right. Stuff. That's right. You know, the city, uh, like I said, I can't say enough for the, the yeah. work that the city puts into it. Uh, to help us out to get the streets blocked off. We start setting up Friday about 4.30. We're mm-hmm. uh, ready to go. Um, you know, the fire department's involved, police department's involved. Everybody does their job. Yeah. Uh, our core group uh, with uh, with my my bunch with Uptown, you know, mm-hmm. Jen Tomlinson, uh, Eugene Ragland, some of the others. Uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff Rollins, our president, who's also affiliated with Kingston National mm-hmm. Bank. Yeah. He's our board president, so we, uh, we have a lot going on. Uh, again, what is the registration fee and the deadline, of course, but how do they get that information sent to you? Go to our, go to the Uptown Circleville website. Uh, there will be a link right there that will take you right to the tournament registration. Uh, it's 150 for a team of four, uh, and it's uh, this Sunday night is the deadline, Sunday night at midnight, mm-hmm. and we'll uh, get you set up, ready to go. Then it will be there's an online uh, through Team Sideline is who we partner with for the management of the tournament. Uh, you'll be able to go onto your phone. There'll be an app. tells you the time, the schedule. You just need to check in that Saturday morning. At registration or check-in starts at 8 a.m. Saturday morning at Pumpkin Show Park right there on uh, North Court across from the Savings Bank. And uh, get your packet for your team. Make sure you're there, and we're ready to play ball. When do they usually tip off for the first games? About 8.30. So, Get there quick. Yeah, it's going to quick. Nine o'clock. At nine o'clock is our our, our latest. Mm-hmm. But we'd like to get started at eight thirty if we could. We'll we'll roll with what we got. Again, that event in Circleville, July the twentieth. Registration going on now. And if you're watching this later, now uh, today is July the eighth. So this Saturday, the Sunday, 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 night. Sunday is the deadline. Uh, of this week so if you want to get your uh, gang together boys and girls that's right yeah that's right uh, of course uh, you want to get those registrations in this week so you can participate in the uptown classic three-on-three basketball tournament for 2024 wayne we appreciate you coming down today and hopefully you have a great turnout thank you appreciate the information and the help all right again wayne linthicum our guest today our special edition brought to you by mcdonald's i'm loving it